Special Visitor Center. Okay, we're inside the museum, and this is like a representation of Feather Cave, which is a place, it's a cave up in the hills near here, where the Indians used to go to pray. These are authentic ceremonial dresses worn in the 1960s. This is an actual Apache war bonnet. U.S. Army, 1885. In 1881, cavalry outfit. Well, that's pretty slick. This is a cavalry trooper and his horse. He looks invisible. He's a good tracker. Here's a Indian, an Apache Indian scout. He's invisible too. A wagon that they use to transport goods into town. Oh, here's the Salazars. We saw some of Salazar graves at the uh, cemetery. He was a famous military leader, it says. And he's one of Billy the Kid's closest friends. That must be the guy we found. Look how hot found we found his grave. Trujillo, patron. Resta Heresia, Heresia, Miranda, Elgo. kitchen in the back, kind of like our camper. That's pretty cool. So they, they, they come up with the idea for the kitchen in the back. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, this thing's made just like our camper. Yeah, it is. Come around and look at it. Going around to the kitchen. The back opens up. It's just missing the fridge and the gas stove and the microwave, but the rest of the kitchen's there and the sink. But see, they thought of this. Before. Because it's cold, they work out cold. I don't know. I don't know what kind of food to get up here. It's like, Potatoes, pork and beans, and pizza. And here's this way, which is the main reason I'm here. Talking about capture of Billy Kidd. Sheriff Garrett tracked him to a place in Stinking Springs. It was a little building like this, and they surrounded him, shot one of his men as they came out, and then they, the rest of them surrendered. And then they were locked in the local jail, and the sheriff ordered Billy the Kid to be on it, kept under 24 hour surveillance. Well, and Billy the Kid convinced Sheriff Bell to uh, let him go to the restaurant and got his gun on him. We'll get into that later. We're going to be right after. And this is about the fire. These are wooden curtains. I remember seats like these in school when I was a kid. And this little building here is the tuberculosis hut. If somebody in town came down with tuberculosis, they locked them in here. Here's a look at the inside. It said the doctor had 10 of these huts built to put people in. 
Because it said the problem was people came out west when they had tuberculosis because they heard the dry air here was good for the, for the disease. It says this was the town's earliest courthouse in 1869. Then they built another one later, but this was the earliest. So let's go ahead. It says this is the same building that we're in right now. It looks so different. They made it bigger. Oh, it's got a bar. Oh, whiskey bottles. Oh, wait a minute. You got a bar and the judge was right there. What's the what's the deal there? Oh, sometimes he conducted court behind the bar. Sometimes on a rocking chair on the court. No, that's a judge. That's not kind of like Judge Roy Bean or something like. What's well, something he would do? Let's see what else we got in here. One big room and one smaller room. An old string bed, rope bed. That'd be. Let's see if I can open this door. your sins. Old creaky floors, I never tricked you. Just don't creaky floors. That's kind of neat. That's not a photo. That's a. It's, it's a like ceramic behind glass.
Oh, I got you walking down the aisle again. And they got the stairway blocked off. It goes up to the balcony where they would actually used to sit people. And then that right over there went to the bell tower. Huh? Bell. The bell. The mission's right there, but I don't know if this is an actual gray or not. It just says William. Jay Reed Sheriff, Deputy George W. Human, in the watch, April 1st, 1870. No idea. And it says right here was the site of Squire Wilson's home. It used to 